Yes, you know. <laughs> and welcome to so today everyone is Amy if you're new here and Hannah is munching on a pastry. We are going to a boots out as you were told been told by the title of this video. We're going to the Sandon Park and Ride Chelsea Boots Out. It's on a car park, which is great because it means no muddy feet. Um, it's a little bit of a smaller boots out from Dunton, which is like my regular boots out, but I actually so much prefer it. I went the other day and I vlogged it, so you would have already seen that. But now I'm taking Hannah along with me, who's picking pastry out of boots. That's a really funny time to pan over to you. <laughs> we just popped in Sainsbury's, got some cash out, and then actually broke into our notes um, with breakfast. But people look at me weirdly. Let's go. We have made it to the boots out a lot quieter than last time, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign. Hopefully, it means that there's lots of sellers, but not many buyers. So we can look at stuff i am still looking for things on my thrifty wish list um so that's what i'm gonna do and do people are trying to get into a space next to me now so i'm gonna stop vlogging there's also people biker boots but they're size six i got tiny feet it's cold <laughs> it is cold i'm really trying to force you to swim with me it is really sweet <laughs> i know they're nice for um like, the summer small, dress they? they are but they look really small they're big sorry these ones look like more my size but it's and heel. Them boots are nice. But Hannah has kind of gifted me some of her boots. I never know when you're to me or if I'm blocking. Um, both. Like blocking. Both. Yeah, they're really nice. They're really, they're really funky actually, aren't they? 39 or oh, 6. Okay, Hannah, I realise I don't suit bucket hats if you've seen my um Medway vlog. Suit, so, try it on. Will it go on my cat head? Oh, that actually looks quite nice if it would fit. <laughs> I told no one believes me when I say I have, I have a big head and thick hair. Do you need so. a hat for a wedding? No. Okay. Thank There's you. lots of stuff. Wow. So much stuff. Denim jackets. Ooh. We needed denim my the other day. We needs a denim jacket, but you only just think she's so fussy. The waistcoats are cool. I think I do want. I like my leather gilet and I want a denim one. That's really cute. Yes. Yeah, I just don't know how you style things like that, you know? I have one. I've worn it before. But then I, I didn't think I was going to start my leather one and I could, so. <gasps> oh, I thought it was a Fantasia Mickey hat, but it's a Legoland one. These bags are cute. The um, wickery ones. Out of office, do you remember in them bags? Yeah. Everyone had them. Do you love a little mini bag? Some shoes? I kind of like those, but of shoes. I'm oh, yeah. not 100% sure. Men's. I've got some cowboy boots that are really big for like men's cowboy boots, annoying. I see Crocs over there, not gonna lie. I really like this headboard, it's quite small though. Um, and Hannah likes this waistcoat. Everything on the ground is 50p, but it's nothing really my style. I like lilac, yeah, that's really Bye. sweet. Bye. Two, but like old school two. Oh, to you, did you say to you or? Some cool sunnies, but Hannah's still look like Willy Wonka in them. <gasps> these are fun! Yeah, what do we think of these sunnies? Everybody, not that you can't see me. Next rail. Oh, I like this pink. But it's 10 to 12. It's really nice though, it looks stretchy. Okay, so I just brought a dress. It was five pounds, it's new with tags. Um, and Hannah just got a top. I'll show you at the end. It's a 10 to 12, but it's really super stretchy, so I'm sure it will fit. This gives vibes of Penny's jacket yesterday in a real weird, obscure way. Yeah. Lauren and Sorrel wearing something like this. Yes. They're very cool. I'm not, I'm not cool enough for such item, such garments. I love that hat. It's so cool. What do we say earlier? I need to wear hair accessories more often. Oh my god, oh, Sorry. That's a Incapable. Oh, hair pins. All the boxes are 50p each. Is this for free as well? No, that's one pound. One pound. Sorry, I was talking to the No, no, it's fine. <laughs> that is a pink suit if I've ever seen one. That is extra. I like guest purses, nice. Yeah. yeah. I really love these motel um, like leather trousers. I still don't have a pair of leather trousers that I love the fit of, but they are too long and they're a fiver, so. Okay, I got some more bits, like bric a brac bits. We just dumped it back at the car because our shoulders were hurting. Hannah's put on the denim jacket she got for her mum for three pounds because she's a bit chilly. Yes. Um, let's go do the next row. Quite like these brown. Also, the brown suit is so cute. But I'm trying to find kind of new tags, bits, mobs. 
anything. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Got by terrible, like, Hannah's just found this dress. Yeah, where well, I can have it. Yeah. I'm just gonna buy this skirt, it's only a pound on this rail. Um, and I've really wanted a skirt like this. Kind of remind me of some of Pinterest board. Oh, yeah. Hannah's just found the most amazing jumpsuit. Stunning, stunning. I just love this dress as well. So cute. Are you not gonna get it? No. Oh, you just like it just for vibes? Yeah. I get that. It's so fun. You know when you think I have to be realistic, how many places will I wear it? Yeah, I get that. Hannah's just scrolling through the rails for us. Oh, I need a slip, don't I? You do. Clean actually, resistance. you know what? I do actually have a slip that was my nan's that she never wore. All the best but I've got actually are uh, in my Depop cupboard, so I could just use them actually, I think. Fab. Fab. What's that brown? Satin. Oh, I don't like the ruche. Not a fan of ruche. That is confusing me. No end. That's the same fabric as my black dress. That's nice. Yeah, that's a bit Diana dress vibes. Yeah. <gasps> we could twin! I'm really forcing Hannah to twin with me at the moment. Hannah just found this for me. Sorry, my camera's gonna be um, holiday, but I think it's gonna be too small because it's a medium Primark, so, but it is really nice. We love this jumper, but it's too small. It's a medium, but it's so pretty with the little flowers. Oh, my heart. That's pretty as well, actually. These ones got all pressed on the thing, which makes it a lot easier. Like these, they're like velvet, flary kind of trousers, but they're 14, so they're really too small. I do like this. I'm just pointing out very fun. I've also got the puzzle that defeated me. If you follow me on my story, you should have seen that. Because, yeah, it's annoying. So they had some really cute baby Uggs in the store. They were new. She wanted a tenner, which would be very fair because I reckon there would have been a lot of money, but I've run out of money, really. really. Because oh. we're selling Versace shoes for eight quid, so. Don't know. Don't know, but yeah, who knows? Oh, shoes. Hannah's just found a really cute Jane Norman leather blazer, but it's super tiny. But yeah, such I'm a vibe. Really going to contemplate trying on. It will be too really cute. <laughs> too heartbreaking. Yeah, I'll just like when I tried on penny jackets, like, <laughs> just stuck away. with your arm. Stress that Hannah's just pulled out is identical to one of my Pinterest board. It's size 10, so it won't fit me, but that is mad. Yeah, because that is it, identical. You're just gonna be. I'll just screenshot it from this. So thank you so much. What is this um, rosy thing? I like that oh, a lot. I like that. I like that a lot. Really nice. <gasps> oh my gosh! I love really that. Pretty. Yeah. Right. We are back in the car. I'm gonna carry on this video because we're going to a Farley Hospice outlet. So I will carry this on. But just picked up small bits i spent about 25 quid but i got quite a lot of stuff so i don't feel bad about it um did i stick to my list no i didn't at all um but that's fine i feel like because it's a treat it is a treat and i'm gonna go now and hannah's gonna film a haul so we got to farley hospice we're just gonna walk to the morrison's right next to it i need the loo just gonna go here go to the loo then go out to farley hospice and shop to go in this is the homeware bit that one's the clothes bit so we'll do the homeware bit first Oh, I like that little part pot. Shell. Brick and racks are four for two pound. No, it was good. I don't really have a room for it. That's really cute. I'm really loving shells. I don't know why. This little bear is very cute. And four for four items, two pound, pound each. Such a bargain. Me, you can always find something. Sports Direct mug. Six for a pound. So, lots of good deals in here, especially if you want DVDs and brick and things like that. All the DVDs, if you ever need. So much furniture and things in this one, so if you need like bigger items, definitely a good place to come. Pest freezer here for only 30 quid. Such a bargain. I love that chair. This is so 70s. Love that. Like, look at this vase, it's a foam roller. But yes, I, I can see it as a vase. Is it heavy or is it foam? It does push in a little bit. Yeah, I think it's a foam roller, but I do like it as a vase. Me too. Just looking at this. Yeah, or an umbrella stand. This is stunning for a tenner. I've been looking at face market ones for ages, but it's just too short. And I've got a Hollywood mirror that I kind of do want to keep, but this is everything. I'm going to think about this for a really long time. Three pound Lorenz accessory, um, little trolley. Um, my one's broken, um, so I never take it out actually. But 
I really do want one. Should we go to eBay and just Google Lorenz accessories to get you everything? Well, they, I'm not going to lie. They're not normally the nicest of bags and stuff. Thing? Yeah, they're not normally the nicest of things. I'm debating on two dressing tables, but I don't know. Okay, so just finished at the Bricka Bracky place. Loads of nice bits, but nothing I don't think I'm going to come away with. Now just going to the clothes bit. Oh, is there any clothes for lunch? Or do you think that's okay. true? Maybe. We can ask. We just go Monday to Sunday now. That's what it said before, oh. to be fair, and they lied. Sorry, oh, 30 minutes late. Yeah. Um, we are in the Atlas. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Oh, I'm really zoomed in. It's a super fun jacket, this little um, midi dress. Only £2, but I am trying to be good. And after I've just spent all my money in a boots house, maybe shouldn't buy loads of stuff in here too. But um, all dresses too bad. This is where I got my lovely black long, long dress that the girls have borrowed before. Y2K bag, it hurts, but not my sort of style. I really like it, but I don't have enough clothes that would go with it. But it is super funky. I think all bags are a certain price as well. Uh, one bag, one pound, so a bargain. Two pound, lovely trench. Can you hold it up, please, Hannah, for the vid? such a vibe but I'm not gonna get it but it is such a vibe now it says to the wrong dress section um i'm very excited to look at gorgeous dresses out of value hospice didn't get anything um a lot of like basics which always isn't there because i assume it's probably rag stock that goes to the warehouses um yeah nothing today but alas i don't know what i'm gonna do now we've got to wait because we are going to pick up. I'm, I'm getting a blanket. If you've seen the Medway video, you'll know why from Emma. Because I saw it in a church, I probably liked it. And she said she had one at home. So she is giving me one, but it means we've got to hang around a little bit. But I'm not quite sure where we're going to go. Um, I might take Hannah somewhere to get a pick. I was going to say, I think our options are going to get a pick. Yeah. For charity shops, they have it's but sad. I'm, I feel sick. I and also. Yeah, that is sad. We have content to film at home. Yeah. Um, I would happily go shop, but I also feel slightly shopped out, but I would happily I feel do shopped it because we do need to kill time. But. I feel shopped out, and I also feel like I've spent too much money at the boots out. So let's go this is somewhere. This fifth day of charity shopping this week. Yeah, I do feel a bit tired of charity shopping. I feel like recently, really controversial, I'm not enjoying charity shopping as much as I was. In terms of actually just the shopping experience. I, I used to go out, I'm done right. I still like find it therapeutic and I still I do still enjoy it when I'm really in the mood for it. But I found I've been shopping quite a lot recently where I'm not necessarily in the mood for it. And I do it and like, I don't think my heart's in it. Mm. I think maybe it's because I've been tired recently and I feel like I need to be energised. But that maybe it's because I'm doing it too much. Which yeah. is weird because I'm actually shopping less than I ever have done before. I've actually thrifted more than that because we technically were thr thrifting on Thursday as well. Yeah. So I went thrifting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I do feel kind of exhausted. I feel like that is not the mindset to charity shopping. But anyway, we're going to find somewhere for a pick. Maybe just somewhere to sit in the car. Cute view. I don't know. I'm going to go find somewhere and then I'll update you. So, it is the next day now. I forgot to end that part of the vlog. However, I thought I'd do a haul of what I got from the boot sale. I didn't get anything from Farley, which I think I've already said. But I'm just going to pull random things I got from the boot sale. And let you know, I think, how much they are. But whether I remember or not, that's a whole different situation um but the first thing i do remember how much as well this was five pounds um it's new with tags originally from in the style now it says it's a 10 to 12 but well i'd say this is quite baggy on me um so on a someone who is a 10 to 12 because i'm like a 16 this will be huge but anyway um it's this really cute like fuchsia pink knitted dress now this as i said isn't super tight i was thinking obviously being a couple of sizes too small that it would be too tight, but actually it fits really nice. My mum said she'll be borrowing this one. It's got like a little collar, and as I said, it's just midi length and has a little slit up the side. Um, as I said, this was five pounds. Um, I'm not super good at haggling at boots as you can tell. Um, but I thought five pounds for a new of tags dress was quite reasonable considering it is like knitted. The next thing they popped in a sandwich bag to keep it nice and clean. It's actually for my sister. Um, I was going to call her yesterday, but I couldn't get hold of her. So I thought I'd just show you here and then I will let her know that I've got this. Um, it is just this Victoria Secret um, dressing gown, but a bride one. Um, these are actually can be really expensive. 
um and i don't think i've been able to find one for cheaper than five pound even on like vintage and things um i know you can get them on like boohoo and plt and obviously i didn't want to do that um so i thought i'd pick this one up um should they originally 60 pound from victoria's secret but i said got that for a fiver um and it is just yeah a white satin dressing gown for she can wear this on a hendu if she wants to wear it on a wedding she can too but i thought um could be good could be good for the hen nonetheless that was five pounds the next thing i picked up are these two little storage baskets i believe these were a pound for both of them maybe two pounds um i think these go really well with a new room um and i've got a little basket in my bedside table that's just wicker um but i think this would be cool to replace that um uh but equally they'd be good as drawer dividers in my drawers if i don't use them kind of outside like on show i thought these would just be really practical for in my drawers um but they're really cool and funky and storage can get really expensive so really happy for them for like a pound um the next thing I picked up was 50p and it's just this new with tags, um, Marks and Spencer's Little Nighty. Um, it's really cute as a little nighty. It's like mesh, it's see-through um, and it's got these gorgeous little rose details. But I actually kind of tucked this up as a top and that looked really sweet. Um, so I potentially wear this as a top. Um, the little slip underneath is that you could wear it as a dress. Um, but I think I probably will end up wearing this as a PJs. Um, but I thought it'd be cute as a little crop top as well, with maybe some black little shorts. Um, thought it'd be cute for summer, kind of a bit festival-y. I don't know. Thought that was fun. It was 50k. Um, and so I picked that up. Um, as you can tell, I completely went off list. Um, I had that little weekend to look a little break from shopping for my list. I did try to be good, but when I went to the boots out or went out the window, um, these are all a bit wild card things to be honest. The next thing is this little yellow Primark top. This was new with tags. Um, and it was six pounds originally. I got this for a pound. It is a size 20, but it fits me absolutely fine. It is just this little lemon. It comes off so much lighter on camera, but it is a proper lemony color. Um, this is a pound. It's this little kind of frilly crop top. Um, looks really nice with um, like light wash jeans or shorts for the summer. I just think it's really sweet. Um, and such a good basic, right? Super comfortable and cute. I did also get a white skirt. I popped it to go in the wash. I'm trying to get a stain lick. I don't think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to sell it um, or donate it. Um, I went to the trial clip here. I just, I like the idea of it, but I just didn't like it on me and just don't think it's me at all. Um, it was only a pound, um, so I risked it for a pound, um, but it has got a couple of stains on. So I'm going to try and get them off and then sell it. Um, but yeah, that was a pound. Um, and then I picked up this top. This was also a pound, I think um it is pure una originally it's in a size 14 it looks super duper tiny but it is like stretchy and it's just like a mesh little top um i do think if i had a cute little bra to go under this that would be quite a vibe and um, because the boob bit as always sits kind of above my boobs unless i pull it down quite a lot and then if i pull it down quite a lot a bra shows if i was wearing like a cute pink bra which i'm trying to think if i have a pink bra I think I do, but it's like a long line one. I don't think it would work. But anyway, I think with a cute pink bra or even just like a white bra underneath this could be really sweet. Again, for kind of the summer, I'm thinking like this is quite Barbie vibes. Um, very YTK, so definitely leaning into that style a little bit. Not quite sure if I'll actually get wear out of this, but I really want to challenge myself and wear more stuff like this because I do think it is very sweet. The next thing, my mum's got her eyes on as well, but this is perfect for holiday and then summer months. Um, I believe this was two or three pounds. It's originally Boohoo. Again, a size 20. If you are plus size, I do definitely think this boot sale has quite a lot of plus size stuff. Obviously, it will change every single week, but I found lots and lots of stuff in my size and above. So if you are plus size, might be a good one to pop down to. Um, but it's just this little play suit um it's got cute little frills at the bottom and then it's got a tight belt obviously as this is elasticated like it fits me fine um which is really nice um and yeah it's just a cool little easy throw on amy green play suit um and i just don't think you can have enough of these sort of really super convenient things for holiday and summer when you just are lazy and want to just chuck something on i feel like i could work like doing beauty in this but equally could go to the pub sit in the pub garden i'm thinking or like yeah summer nights i think they'll be really sweet um i believe this is about two pounds then for i think it was a pound or 50p i got this really cool clock i need to put batteries in it to see if it actually works and i do kind of want to pop out the picture inside because i can't remember what this character's name is um but i'm not too keen on that but hannah also said i could use it as a photo frame and i could pop it out and then pop a photo inside it which i definitely think that is an option but it's a fluffy pink no a fluffy cow clock and i just think 
that is so fun apologies if you can hear the kids downstairs they are playing loudly um but yeah i thought that was a really sweet little find then for my sister's baby my niece i picked up dear tooth fairy i used to have this book as a kid i probably could find it in the loft but this brings back so many memories when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't even remember the storyline of it. I just remember the cover. It's got lots of little flappy up bits where it's like little messages from the tooth fairy. Um, I'm aware the baby will not understand this for a really, really, really long time. But I thought it was cute. And I believe this is like 58 pound, like super duper cheap. And then finally, probably the best purchase, which the reason I want to film this video so bad is I want to be able to put this up. I got ball. um this she wanted three pounds for it but i had two pound fifty in change and i was like oh will you take two pound fifty and she said yes not too keen on this ribbon we'll probably end up swapping it out and um hanging it with a different bit of ribbon but it is the funkiest disco ball and when i tell you when me and hannah got back from like shopping it was really sunny outside and the light just instantly started bouncing off and reflecting off of me and we took it in my conservatory and, oh my gosh it was stunning I'm going to put this up on my window. Annoyingly, my bedroom only gets light in like really late evening. Um, so I'm not quite sure if, you know, it will actually reflect light as beautifully as it did that time. Um, but it'd be cool for parties and for £2.50, I think that's a bargain. I think I might tie it up with like a colourful scarf I have. Um, but yeah, I think this is super duper cute and I'm really happy with this one. And that was all I picked up. Thank you for watching today's vlog come haul. Um, and I've done a lot of kind of vloggy videos recently, but here we are. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Comment what your favourite item was down below. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.